Apple has released a new iOS 26.2 beta update and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that you need to know. Let's go. The level 2 inside the measure app has this new liquid glass look that you can see right here. So this has circles that animate upon contact and you can see what the numbers do. They actually refract. It's overall a great animation and it seems like someone at Apple is having way too much fun. CarPlay also receives a minor update with this version. CarPlay supports disabling pinned messages in the messages app. You can now sort games in the games app by size, name and recents which are newly added options. Apple now provides more information in the enhanced safety alerts added in the first beta. Another change that's here has to do with menu options that now have more liquid glass and fluid motion. You can see when you for example try to click edit on the different menus that you see right here. Menu options have more liquid glass and fluid motion. So when you click edit on the different menus, whether it's on the home page or it's on the different applications that you might be trying to access the menu in, you can see how the motion looks. It just looks more fluid. Podcast chapters have a new glyph icon besides them. And this is an addition to the chapters that were added previously. When it comes to the Apple wallet, this update adds support for the Connex card in France. So if you are there, you can click on the plus icon and add your new card. In reminders, you can now set a reminder as urgent before choosing a time or date. And this is in addition to the other changes that beta one introduced that allow you to set an alarm with your reminder so that you don't forget it. The close notification button now has a liquid glass look to go along with the rest of the OS or operating system. You can see how this has been updated. Apple also released other 26.2 beta 2 versions of all these operating systems that you see here. And if you are interested, I actually do cover most of them in full. The build number that comes with this update is right here. So this is the one for reference. The official release of iOS 26.2 is most likely going to be in the second full week of December 2025. Just to keep you in the loop on a separate note, Apple has officially launched Digital ID in the US, which offers a secure and private way for users to create an ID in Apple Wallet using information from their US passport. And you can use this to present your ID with your iPhone and with your Apple Watch. Now, the big question is, should you install this update? Well, if you are on iOS 26.2 beta 1, then go ahead. This update is much better and slightly more stable compared to that beta 1 version. But if you're still on iOS 26.1, holding off a little bit would be more ideal as the build number tells us a big story that this update is still unstable compared to the previous official release.